When did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. You have the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. Where did you get that bracelet? It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? She seems like she's holding back the truth. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up unless I put myself to sleep. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. There's something ominous going on. Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. And hello there, troops. We're back at it once again with another little peaceful episode of Life is Strange. The remastered version. You're watching Ace of Space Gaming with your host for the day, myself, Thumbs, and Drips. I hope you caught the last episode. I know um, the episodes of Life is Strange have been a bit crazy. Sorry. <laughs> but in the last episode, we started with Max and Chloe in this junkyard, having fun with powers and guns, you know, because they're... and beer. I forgot about the beer. <laughs> they're nice combos. <laughs> Let's not forget that they added an extra bottle, by the way. Like, apparently you didn't have to collect the extra bottle, but... Absolute madness. <laughs> nah, but eh, uh, we had to go get balls to collect for Chloe to practice shooting out with. And I made Chloe shoot, uh, I think it was the wheel rim of a car. And we made her shoot herself, eh, uh, shoot herself, which I always think is hilarious. <laughs> but, but, yeah, once they were playing, eh, uh, finished playing with the gun, the Max, uh, had like another kind of crazy vision type thing of the tornado and everything that's gonna happen in Arcadia Bay very soon. And then after, you know, she came round and Chloe was finished being worried about her, by the way. <laughs> um, that's when Frank showed up. That's when we go to see Frank officially for the first time. And basically Frank is not happy. Chloe owes him money because she always owes people money. <laughs> but Frank got a bit angry with Chloe, you know, because that's just the kind of guy he is now. You know that he killed Damon and before the storm, right? And, uh... Max had the gun and she had the opportunity to shoot or not shoot. I told her to shoot, but I also knew the gun would have been empty. <laughs> so Frank crapped himself, but he's also now very angry with Max that he, she could have potentially shot him, which will come into play later and I kind of regret that move, but there we have it. <laughs> but Chloe's really thankful, obviously, that we helped her with Frank. And then we have to help it again in the next scene because they are on train tracks. But yeah, and then they, you know, they got they got talking about you know Frank and how Chloe knows him and how you know Max was basically like uh, gonna shoot him. And I forgot she actually like uh, had like another tornado vision as well as when they were on the train tracks, which was a bad thing because then Chloe got her foot stuck in the track and then Max had to go and save her life by like breaking the. The thing that turns the thing. I totally forgot I had no experiences last week or in the last episode. Instead of, like, there's a way to use a crowbar and, like, totally, like, just redirect the train tracks without breaking the thing. But in last week's episode, I made the big, um, I don't know what they, those things are called, but I made that big rolly thing who rolled down the hill and break the train track thing. I don't know the names of any of these things. <laughs> But we've done that, and I'd never done that before. I didn't even know it was an option. So the train tracks are broke for good, and no lumber can't get to the mill. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to like come into play at some point in the game. I would kind of hope it does. But like not in a bad way for us. That would be terrible. <laughs> I just made sure everybody dies. 
<gasps> Spoilers. I'm kind of on. I would never do that. So yeah, uh, Max officially saved Chloe's life once more because that's just what she does. And then we went back to school with Max who had a little chat with David and how he crapped on Kate the other day. And how he apparently just loves the students of Blackwell and he's just looking out for them. And then we be, I was like collecting photos at the end of the episode as we went to go see Warren who was experimenting with stuff. And then that was the end of the episode because I didn't want to go to the next part because the next part of the game is going to be very emotional. But I also think I left it at a terrible point and that might be the end of that chapter where I've left it. So today we're going to be potentially finishing episode 2 and then probably starting episode 3 because it would be kind of crazy to just have like a, a short video like that, right? <laughs> well, anyway, we'll see what happens. I, I can't remember if that is actually the end, but let's just say it could go horribly or it could go very well for Max. Now, it's going to get really emotional for Kate, so grab your tissues against troops and prepare yourselves for an emotional roller coaster of an episode. <laughs> And hopefully I don't mess things up to make it even more emotional. So, if you're curious, come and join us with another episode of Life is Strange Trips. So let's go! I have to do all of this stuff again. I need to go help Warren. And I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so yeah. <laughs> I can do some wandering. Yeah. I already done that wandering, man. So are you going to that Vortex Anyway, I party? guess we'll see you like I would miss it. I have down the, the hall. Outfit. Why is the turn sensitivity so fucking annoying? I'll see you doing that with Jefferson and Kate. Because I need to go do all sorts of stuff again. <laughs> Howdy, Brooke. Howdy. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Yeah, actually. Whoa, let's talk about Warren. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Yeah. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. Let's talk about drones. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. <laughs> I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. What? So long. What? I sincerely hope that was a joke. Right? <laughs> but anyway, we're back here. But in front of Jefferson and Kate, we're gonna go oh we're gonna go eavesdrop on them again. And then potentially finish the episode. <laughs> no, but we're gonna go through some stuff, so gather your Nobody believed me any emotions. <laughs> Let's go. So, so you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. I forgot to set an ease drop more. You don't understand mine. Don't Kate. Are you okay, Kate? I'm sorry. Jefferson, what did you say, Kate? Huh? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Uh -huh. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. Yep. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that was David's fault. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. <laughs> do you have... Proof he instigated the situation? No. My word isn't good enough? <sighs> Never does. The one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. Mm -hmm. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody does know. Kate is freaked out. Um, I kind of want to pick Kate is freaked out because she is kind of freaked out. But yeah. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Fuck you. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Fuck she you. seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? More than you have. Yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. 
<laughs> she needs friends and support now. Not you. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Yeah. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel yeah. was nothing like Kate. How would you know? And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? No. <laughs> Why would I tell you? Not right now. Douchebag. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this You're week. You're blaming everybody else. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Saved by the fucking... Hello. <laughs> yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Mm -hmm. He's a right dickbag, right? <laughs> and everybody says he's great. I don't believe it. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 <laughs> Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. You are Show out of control, love. Dana. Fucking wild. How do I look, <laughs> Taylor? You look like ass. That's, That's a, a great, great sketch of Dana. Wow. Daniel is the real deal. Yeah, I love the frog, though. There <laughs> you go, Daniel. Hey, Eliza. Last photo of the chapter. Bada bang. You're supposed to ask the person's permission before you get their photo. Hey, do you mean that I just done that? <laughs> Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. The rain is the perfect time to contemplate shit. <laughs> hey, Dana. How you doing? No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Not with me in the background. <laughs> do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? So oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. <laughs> or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. <laughs> I'm like right beside you. <laughs> Max is such a little what, Nathan? Hmm? Punk ass bitch. <laughs> Here comes the mysterious Max. Disguised as a pixie hipster. What? Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. <laughs> Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Of course you right. do. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Fuck you, Victorian. Fuck you, Nathan. Like stairs, scary. Where the fuck did you go? I wanna break your faces. Oh, look at your little scratched face from my claws. Yeah, bunch of shits. I never noticed this fool. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Yup. I'm sure it was really hard. <laughs> Anyway, fuck you, Victoria and Nathan. I am sitting down. I didn't think we were gonna be buds. I just thought we were at least gonna, you know, be respectful of each other. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? What? Now, this is so wrong. Yeah. And weird. What the fuck you doing, David? What am I supposed to do here? We just wait until... Oh, hi. I, I didn't invite you, Warren. <laughs> what up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Yeah. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat I it. I hate Jay Everybody Wilson. else, please sit down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as Bye. usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. Fuck you, Kate. <laughs> She's and Victoria. not feeling good. Let's draw. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people oh, to hi, judge. Hi, hi. Max, the boss with the gun, marry me. <laughs> Illegal in Oregon for now. Fuck that shit. Elope. 
Why are you wanting to marry her? Because of the whole gun thing? And the fact that she saved your life like 5,000 times? Understandable. <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> no smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Shop. Usually, people need something to judge. I so guess they never Kate will miss class now. Themselves. I'm worried about her. Yeah. For some of that. In the end, what did we draw? We can only blame. <laughs> What's your problem? Who's that supposed to be? Just some rando. Ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Yeah. Like Max Caulfield, for Shut example. Shut your fucking face! Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like What's it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. Uh -huh. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary! It. It's cool that Mr. Oh, Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. I don't care. Do not come into my class like that ever again. <laughs> Listen, no, we, we everybody remain seated. I thought the bell went. But Dismissed. I like the fire alarm. Uh, prepare yourselves. I am not prepared. Is this for real? Unfortunately. It flipped no. out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh, I hate this part of the game. Man. Especially if I did it wrong. Oh Who is that? Kate! Oh. No! Oh god. I, I have to do something to help her. Yes, we do. We have to. She can't die. She can't. Oh. Oh. Not again. That is not just not a little bit of blood. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. So we're doing it. Ah. It's fine. We'll just break Max's brain, but try and save Kate, though, right? This is when our powers start to get crazy. <laughs> the whole game's getting crazy. I hope Nathan and Victoria and everyone else feel like shit. Keep. She's taking a fucking boat. Going. Where are you, Max? Fuck you, Victoria. Can. Do it. Like, look, they're taking a bucket video. That's Victoria, though. <laughs> Can we just walk through the magpies? No. Okay. Don't worry, Kate. We're coming. We're gonna save your life. Look at David trying to get in. If you weren't too busy taking photos of her, maybe you could have saved her instead. But no. <laughs> Kate, please come do it. Yes. <laughs> Instead, she just keys of the fright of her life. Kate. Kate! Oh! Just show her instead of. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! <laughs> Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, yeah. seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Don't do it. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. Yes, I, I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You, you do, Bar. You do! You matter, and not just to me. Exactly. I do want to believe that. Kate, then believe your it. life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Good. Good. 
Oh, they're both good answers. Um, I am your friend. I am here for you, though. Um, I'm your friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. That's why I done it. <laughs> I always feel like you really listen. Oh. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. You didn't have to That's tell That's your that. story now. How can I trust you? What? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Oh. I am gathering proof. But as to, oh, I don't know what to answer. Any of these can just throw it off, literally. I feel like I'm gathering proof is the best. It's the best one, because that's what we are dating, right? Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. Yeah. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Yeah. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. Yes, he is. Shout you have the proof now? Talk. Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. Yeah. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Oh, good. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. No, you don't. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Mm. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Shh. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. I wish I could too. If only we could have went far back that far. There are, there are billions of videos doesn't really encourage anything. Everyone be strong. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to tell it to be strong. The other two aren't really that encouraging, I think. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. Yeah. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Aww. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. Yeah. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. <laughs> But I'll come with you. Really? You're my friend. <gasps> Forever. Really? Can we hug on it? No. Nobody oh. cares about me. What do you mean? Nobody. I want to go with your sisters. Your father. Because the aunt isn't happy. I guess it could have been to do with... I'm going to say sisters. And I didn't see brothers. Yeah. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. Oh, I would hate to see her sad. Oh. Come on, yeah. Oh, thank fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <laughs> man. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't mess that up, man. Oh. Well done, Max. And thumbs. <laughs> now, I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. What is that? Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. Yes. I didn't do much. You're the only person that done She's anything. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Fuck you. As principal of Blackwell Academy, <laughs> I take my duties seriously. Do you, though? I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. True. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going but through. You saw the signs. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Yeah, instead of blaming off. Mr. Prescott. Like a prick. Since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties. And drug and, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party. Mm -hmm. You'll have to answer some more questions. Good. 
Let's throw him in the fucking jail cell. <laughs> Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I don't think I'm going to tell you a thing. First off. Oh, they are all true. Do I... Also, it's called helping Principal Wells. <laughs> I feel like I want to go... I don't know, because Nathan did dose her. Or we believe Nathan dosed her. But, like, the Prescotts basically own Principal Wells at this point, so you saw what he was like when we accused him of having a gun. He didn't believe a word. So would he believe that? Because, like, there's so many things factored into this. I, I told David that the, the weed was Maxie's, which he could bring up. I didn't tell Wells about the gun, so there's nothing on Nathan. Maybe I should just go for Jefferson. Because either way, they could probably both turn it on Max. So maybe Jefferson is the, the better option to not get Max in trouble further. You know, so I think that's what we'll do. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Yep. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. Uh -huh. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. No, you didn't. She told me Max was the only one who believed her would take her calls and actually listen to her. Yeah. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! Oh, fuck you. She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. You're never too late to help. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes what? contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? Fuck you. I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. Nice. There are bigger things at stake than me. Yes, there are. The life of a young girl, for one. Yes. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Oh. Let Max speak for herself. We? Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue oh. this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Do we just sign it? I feel like that worked out pretty well. Hmm. Um, I'm going to sign it. It could have. This can end a lot worse for Max, so I'm going to sign it. Or it can end a lot worse for. Yeah. Sign in. <laughs> Screw you, Jefferson. You tried to put the blame on Kate, and you could have always Well, helped. I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Good. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. Do you? So thank you for coming in. You're welcome. But fuck you, Principal Wills. Everyone else. <laughs> Douchebags. The good thing is we saved Kate, right? What we doing now? I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally oh, slow yeah. motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, <laughs> applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. Yeah. I'm still worried about Kate. Yeah. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one and a half times. <laughs> Lauren, oh. I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. 
along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Yeah, I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. Huh? So, what do you think is really happening? Jefferson, though. What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> Feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I yeah. would know. I would. I believe you. <laughs> no, uh, I shouldn't have helped him with his science experiment. <laughs> I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Eclipses definitely don't just happen out of the blue. Yeah, this place is gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Chaos theory. Right. Oh. What's this? Uh, what is he sad about? Them? Guilt. <laughs> oh. Oh, is that Jefferson? Something bad, I hope. <laughs> we could wash the up our hands now. Oh, see, you do feel bad. It's a shame, but good. Fuck you too, Nathan. Frank and Papa do. I love Papa do. Oh, I'm so glad we saved Kate. I know I keep saying it, but it's so much. Obviously, it's so much sadder if she does it. I saved two lives today. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's find out what's going on. That was nice about your text about Caitlin. about that every time. <laughs> Are we getting to see more though? Putting pieces together? Oh. Was that David? We saw him behind a tree. Does he drink though? <laughs> I knew we were finished the episode. I know that, you know, it's not the shortest episode that I've done. But maybe I could give you a little teaser into next week's episode, you know? <laughs> oh! We're gonna go over the decisions first, but I, li I just saw that um, f it was a 50-50 split between telling Kate to wait for the police or not. That's interesting, I like that. And a lot of people answer that is, as I said, that's why I answered Kate's call, because it really helps in the whole saving her life thing. A lot of people try to shoot Frank too, because why not? <laughs> and we saved Kate's life. A lot of people didn't blame David. Interesting. See, I would have blamed blamed Nathan, but he just he owns his family owns the school, so we wanted the plan, and we helped Alyssa because we're always going to do that. And we erased the video. I'm glad a lot of people done that too. <laughs> we weren't friendly with Taylor. I thought we were friendly with Taylor. Oh, I'm sorry. We accepted Warren's invitation and we didn't write the message. No, we didn't. <laughs> and we tampered with the, the real tracks. Yeah, they're totally broke. So I guess that's going to come into play at some point then. I hope. I don't know how that turns out. I've never done it before. And we got entry to the Vortex Club. That's going to come in handy. We helped Warren. Kind of wish I didn't. 
And we told on Jefferson. I mean, no, we told Jefferson about David, which we probably shouldn't have done, but hey ho. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's just have a little sneak peek and see what's going to happen next week, right? Or what we're getting up to. This goes nice at night, other than the moths. They're just little floating white blobs. <laughs> Only butterflies get good graphics in this game. Kate's rabbit, I forgot we get to look after that. Aww. And it's a whole new chapter for photos. <laughs> Kate! Aww. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get to us and gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Yeah, we do. We need to look after the little rabbit first though, right? Let's go wake up Victoria. <laughs> Can we water the plant? Mum told us not to forget. Have we got any new texts? Yeah, from Warren. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yo, yo, Max! <laughs> Just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today. <laughs> With Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the th lab's 3D printer. Cool. The lab has a fucking 3D printer? That's so awesome! <laughs> and you totally earned dinner on me. Along with her escape to a planet of apes. Call me. No. <laughs> Get on. <laughs> Thanks Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. <laughs> Especially since I got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of his own contest. <laughs> Good. I'll call you later, okay? And then, uh, Mom. What are you saying? Max, please call as soon as you can. We are proud of you for saving this girl. Oh. And we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes. I swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our black whale hero. Aw. Oh. I miss your voice. Mom is so cute. <laughs> We're very proud, so mock this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Love you too, Mom. <laughs> and Chloe. Sorry about Kate. Hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Yo, Super Max. How's the Blackwell hero doing? <laughs> the hero is still shaking with nerves. You're a boss, but no emoji. I also got my favorite teacher suspended. Yay, me. <laughs> Did you so own that school? Yeah, we do. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the PCs together. Cool? I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. We already read that, but that's fine. Anyway, let's feed the little, ratty, little bunny rabbit. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Don't worry, Kate will be fine in no time, little bud. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. Yeah. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. I'll try to. You're kind of running out. <laughs> running out of power, Max. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Ha. Huh. Yes, you do. But how much? <laughs> oh, it's creepy at night time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Light. That's a creepy door. Wherever you go... There I am. Was that Victoria's room? What one's Victoria's room? 
We'll wait for Kate. Oh, no yous are all happy fucking have Kate. Or support Kate, I mean. <laughs> Why is that barricaded? So much hypocrite. I know. So that must, must be Victoria's room. Do they really need that crap on the door? Oh no, it's Kate from... Kate's still alive. How much are, like, can I explore? Oh, the toilets are open. Oh. Maybe I'll speak with her. She might know where Victoria is. Hey, bitch face. What was your name? You're Taylor. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Yeah. I mean, mm, I kind of want to blame her. But her mom's ill. So I'm going to come for her because I feel bad about that whole thing. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. Yeah. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. So? She already broke curfew tonight. Oh. Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. Oh, I kind of want to know where she went, but I don't think she'll tell me, so... I won't say a word. I swear to dog. What? I hope I can believe you, Max. I swear to dog. I'm my own person, too. See you later. Well, no, we can go to Victoria's room. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Yeah, we do. I knew I could get in here some way. Or another. Okay, what's in Victoria's room? Any secrets, Victoria? Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Yeah. By looking at cookies. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. <laughs> now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. She's a <laughs> cookie monster. Come on, Max. Give us a swear. <laughs> These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I did not see socks. Nice desk. I'll title this one. Portrait de la assholes. <laughs> nah. Yeah, Nathan does look like a bit of an asshole there. Whoa, there's Kate. <gasps> totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Because she wasn't. More snooping. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> They are really close, those two, aren't they? Oh. Ah, oh, nice. Is that glow in the dark? Is that Tomb Raider? Lara Croft? <laughs> but blue? Nice. Oh. Go through the bin! Oh shit, I didn't mean oh, to look through that. <laughs> Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweet tea. <laughs> What's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we saw it live. <laughs> live. I was like watching a reality show and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and this stupid video. You should, Victoria. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. Uh huh. What a trip that was today. Seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too. Let me know the time. <laughs> Sweet tea. <laughs> okay. At least. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Thirty pounds or thirty dollars. I did just got a new one. Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Uh huh. Glow. It is glow in the dark. I thought so. Nice. Victoria's Secret. <laughs> First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, through the bag it is. 
A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Well researched, Essie, with a unique point of view. Okay. Rip up! Is that this in here? Ah, oh, she fixed the middle <sighs> finger. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Are you though? Maybe not paranoid enough? <laughs> we can't even comment on the fucking wall of fools that we messed up. That must be everything. May as well look at the shoes, right? Those boots are made for walking runways. And not college hallways, am I right? <coughs> okay, that was uneventful. Whatever. Let's go see how these. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Oh. I was wanting to read your board thing, but I guess we can talk. Before I. Uh, after I go through your things. <laughs> this is both sad and pathetic. I think I probably did that, to be honest. Hey, Dana, how you doing? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? You're Better welcome. than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Can you not? I kind of want to say we're all responsible because we kind of are. But it was. But then that feels like I'm kind of blaming Dana as well. I'm gonna say she was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. That's all you know. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Maybe she knows something? I don't know. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on. You really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? Exactly. So what, what exactly are you oh. saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. <laughs> do you think they're involved? Jefferson, I'm going to say it's complicated because it really is complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. Uh. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. Yeah. What? Like, who? You are the Victoria idiot. bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Uh -huh. Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep, too, Dana. I'll see you later. Well... I hope you're feeling better, Dana. And it's time for Max to leave. Or... You're in our thoughts. Oh, that was Stella. Praying for a fast recovery. I mean, I guess that's kind of cute. But where were you when she actually needed your help? So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Yeah, she is. And that's where we're gonna go. But we're gonna do that in next week's episode. I, I kinda wanted to get through that door just so that, um... Oh, we're hearing subtitles because there's someone around there. But, so that I wouldn't have to go through all the dormit dormitory stuff. Dormitory? So that I wouldn't have to do everything in there again. <laughs> so, I'm ending the episode here. Gives us a little idea of what we're going to be getting up to in next week's episode. We're sneaking out, we're breaking curfew, and Max and Chloe are going to try and basically solve the mystery of Rachel missing and the whole thing between Nathan and Kate and David and Kate and then Jefferson and Kate. There's a lot of people here who are suspects to just being horrible people. <laughs> so... Come and join us in the next episode where we find out if Max is taking too long. Yeah, we're taking too long. <laughs> so, apparently we need to go. Chloe's getting impatient. <laughs> but Troops, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, I'm really happy that we saved Kate because obviously it is really upsetting if we don't. Um, important lesson in mental health, right? Life is strange, teaches us all sorts of things. So, get help if you need it. There's no shame in getting help. <laughs> so, other than that, I'm going to let you go because I've been talking way too much. <laughs> so, 
troops, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one. And I hope you're staying as safe as you can. I guess also as clean as you can. And until then, troops, thumbs, and mags over here, I guess. Well, we're all... Ah,